In part two of our video, Solving Systems by Substitution, we are going to look at each one of the equations and see which equation we can isolate a variable really easily. And so in our first problem today, we have negative x plus y equals 3 and y equals 2x plus 5. Well, right away, we can see that the y is isolated. So we're going to go ahead and box the expression on the right-hand side because that tells us that we are going to substitute that expression into the other equation for the value of y. Let's go ahead and get started. So in this first equation, I have negative x plus y equals 3. Go ahead and write negative x plus wherever I see a y, I'm going to open it up with parentheses to see where I'm going to plug in the expression of 2x plus 5. So here we go. Let's get rid of our parentheses. So we have a negative x plus 2x plus 5 is equal to 3. It looks like we have to do some combining like terms. So 2x minus an x leaves me x by itself. x plus 5 equaling 3. We're going to go ahead and add a negative 5 to both sides. This becomes 0. And then I go ahead and bring my x down. And 3 minus 5 is a negative 2. Therefore, my x value is negative 2. In our solution of our ordered, our solution will be our ordered pair. And the first x value is going to be a negative 2. Now we need to go find our y value. Well, what we talked about in class is we're going to go box to box. And so here we have this equation, y equals 2 times x. Well, that x, I'm going to go ahead and put the negative 2, plus 5. So here we go. Let's plug in a negative 2 for the variable x. So now we have y equals 2 times a negative 2 is a negative 4. And a negative 4 plus 5, we can see that 5 a negative 4 plus 5, or 5 minus 4, is going to give us 1. So here's our y value for our solution. So in this problem, the solution where the two lines intersect is negative 2, 1. Let's go ahead and try one more, because you guys are doing awesome. So here we go. Let's put this one back. Let's pull this one out. Hey, it looks like it's going to be pretty easy for us because we already see that a variable is already the isolated, that x is isolated, which leaves us with the expression of 2y minus 4 on the right-hand side. So let's go ahead and plug it in. So we're going to write our equation, x plus 8y equals 16. Wherever I see an x, I'm going to open up with parentheses where I'm going to plug in that expression and then copy everything else down. So let's put in that expression of 2y minus 4. Here we go. Let's get rid of the parentheses. So we have 2y minus 4 plus 8y equals 16. Combine like terms. 2y and 8y is 10y minus 4 equals 16. Let's go ahead and add 4 to both sides. This gives us 16 plus 4, which is 20. So now I have 10y equals 20. Divide by 10 on both sides. The value of y is going to equal 2. So that's our y value. So let's go ahead and go box to box and plug it in. Here we go, 2y, x equals 2 times y, where we're going to open up the parentheses, minus 4. So let's go ahead and plug for the y value. We're going to plug in 2. Therefore, x is equal to 2 times 2 is 4, and 4 minus 4 is 0. So we know what our x value is. We know what our y value is in the solution. So our ordered pair is going to be 0. Make sure we put it in the right 
right areas of the right sections, our y value is two. Yeah, please don't put two zero because that would have to be marked wrong because we put the wrong values in the wrong part of the ordered pair. All right, guys, thank you guys very much. That was awesome. And you guys have a great day. And remember to subscribe and hit the bell notifications so we can get more videos out to you. And please share with your friends to help them understand solving systems by substitution.